Um, so I commend uh, Minister Curran for this bill. Thank you. <laughs> I, call, I call Chloe Swarbrick. Kia ora. Uh, Mr Speaker, I am uh, glad uh, to be rising for the Green Party for the second time tonight uh, to speak to another fantastic piece of legislation. Uh, so uh, the House is, is broadly in agreement uh, about this, this bill. Uh, it's straightforward. It's, it's common sense, uh, which common sense is not a piece of terminology that I like to use frequently. It's um, more often associated with the likes of uh, Simeon Brown, who is uh, making his point known across the House at the moment. Uh, and I'd like to commend uh, the Honourable Tracy Martin uh, for this bill. Uh, <laughs> it is Tracy's bill. I would like to confirm that. Uh, so something that it's always important to be cautious of uh, and to echo the sentiments of the Honourable Claire Curran uh, is we, we need to have an awareness of the digital divide uh, which currently uh, is, is present uh, in New Zealand and is absolutely one of the indicators of inequality. Mm -hmm. uh, so on that point, we have to strike the balance between not shutting people out, i.e. convenience, uh, but also the likes of accessibility. And on that point too, uh, I would also like to raise the point of privacy. Uh, so I note that online photographic storage is something that was flagged by the Privacy Commissioner. Uh, they noted the need to go through a privacy impact statement. Uh, so that is something that I would like to draw the Minister's attention to, uh, and that is something that the Green Party would like to see. Uh, but still, we stand in support of this bill. Uh, on the point of online voting, uh, this is something that's often lauded as a bit of a panacea for engagement and turnout and participation in elections. Uh, so we may see that uh, bird and <laughs> uh, we may see that fish and game, the Fish and Game Council, may be run off their feet uh, with, with engagement uh, in elections. Uh, but this, this is something that I also want to ensure that we in this House are aware of when we're talking about uh, you know, a increasing engagement by way of online voting, because it is something that, that can be vulnerable to attack, uh, to hacks and otherwise, uh, by some of those people who may be looking to, to rig those elections. Uh, this is something which uh, I recently uh, experienced in the Forest and Bird Bird of the Year competition, uh, which, as, as the campaign manager for the Kiriru, one of three people uh, managing the campaign for the, the Kiriru, a, a fine bird, a, a fine bird who I think really characterises many of us in this house. Uh, it, it, 100 votes were fraudulently cast for the white-faced heron. What an absolute outrage. So that, that is something which, which I would like to draw all the members' attention to as one of the potential vulnerabilities of online voting. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, just to conclude that story, the mighty Kereru uh, was robbed, characteristically, I might add, by the Kia uh, for the Bird of the Year title. Uh, but we'll be back in 2018. So just, just so we, we, we will succeed, we will win. Uh, so in summation, Mr Speaker, uh, the Green Party would like to commend uh, this bill to the House. Uh, we are in agreement uh, that it is absolutely straightforward and common sense. I call the Honourable Nathan Guy.